Hi guys, small video again. <coughs> I had an interesting question in a comment um, on my YouTube channel because I made a, a while back. I made a video on how you could change the uh, how you could use TPU with a 0.2 nozzle on the bamboo printers, and then I got this comment. Unfortunately, it won't let you change the extrudal nozzle diameter in a bamboo studio. So I checked that. And I am now using the latest version as of today. So let's see, if you go in here and you go to the nozzle diameter, it's locked. Same with the other one. So I set it to 0.4. Again, it is locked. So how do you go about this in Bamboo Studio? Studio, uh, You have to hack it. <laughs> I have uh, sat down and tested a little bit. Because you can see here, on uh, 0 0.4 nozzle, uh, if you have that selected, you get the option to select generic and TPU for AMS. And there is also uh, there should be a one that was called just generic TPU, that's bamboo. Uh, yeah, it says generic TPU for AMS. Uh, there's generic TPU. <coughs> okay, so I'm able to select that, but if you change 0.2 nozzle in Bamboo Studio, you don't get those options, see? Uh, generic PLA, generic PLA, PVA, etc. So you get a lot less choices. So how you go about this in Bamboo Studio? Because it works in Orca Slicer like it did, and this method would probably also work in Orca Slicer. But uh, I'm just going to make this video to help you with Bamboo Studio, since you are sort of a little bit screwed there. Um, so what you need to do is you need to go to your file, and here, uh, the, the arrow there, see? And then you go to help, and then you go to show configuration folder. And then you close down your Bamboo Studio, for now. And then you go into system, BBL, and then you will find, I think it was machine, I don't think it was filament. Uh, I think it was machine and no, those are the configuration of the nozzle, so it's not that it's the filament one. So Bamboo Studio System BBL filament. And then you scroll down and you find the filament you really want to use. In this case, it's generic TPU. So normally you wouldn't be able to use the AMS one either, so you can change the DM and then the AMS as well. So you go down there and you select generic, and let's see if we can get to the TPU. Generic, TPU, JSON. And you hold down shift, right click, and you select, okay, I want to open it with uh, notepad. That's enough. Now if you open this file, you will see you have some options here. It will have the configuration for the nozzle sizes. So you copy the first one because you see it's it's based on uh, model. So just change it for. It's enough to change this for you your model, but if you have several of them, you need to change for all of them. So in my case, I have an X1 carbons. I'll change for both of these, and I'll just add one for the carbon as well, and change that to two. So now I have added the configurations compatible printers with this filament. And I added 0.2 nozzle and I added 0.2 there. Now keep in mind, I do believe these files get overwritten every time you update your Bamboo Studio. Which is why you would need to go and change this manually. The version in Orca Slicer will save it as a setting that you just load into the new version. So there is a bit of a difference there when you use it that way. <coughs> what you can do here, I think, 
is that you you set it in the configuration files and then afterwards you can create your profile in Bamboo Studio and maybe you can drag that over into a new version. I haven't tested that. So this is the first time I'm testing this, but I haven't tried to print with this, but I'm 99.99% for sure, sure that it works because this is basically just telling the printer you support this nozzle size for this filament. And then it's up to you to take the risk if you want to do that. Don't tell Bamboo that you did this because they will probably not say, oh, you're putting the warranty. No, I don't think you would warranty or anything because you're just testing. It's just a small nozzle. The worst thing that I can do is that you get a clog or whatever. But when you save this file again, file, save, you have basically told it that if you're using an X1 or an X1 carbon, in my case, then you should support uh, 0.2 nozzle on the TPU filament. So I close that file and <coughs> relaunch my Bamboo Studio. And then you go to prepare and you see you can have the four, four nozzle. But if you now select the 0.2 nozzle, you will now have generic TPU available as a filament choice. So, it is possible in Bamboo Studio and I would really like to thank uh, Thomas Witchchar1661 for pointing this out and uh, allowing me to make a small adjustment to my um, uh, comments and uh, yeah Please bring more comments like this. It is uh, very, very cool for me to actually learn this myself. And uh, yeah, as a sub subsequent result, I can show you guys how to do it, if I can figure it out. Um, the reason I can figure these kind of things out is because I work as an IT technician. So I love computers, I love fiddling with configuration files and stuff. So um, in my head, uh, there are two things. Either you save the configuration in the program itself, or you save the configurations. It's, it's three things. Save the configuration files in the programs, save them in files, or save them in the registry. And uh, what I did, I just looked online, and I found that, oh, you can go here to see the configuration files of Bamboo Studio, and then you just start looking around, and voila. So, um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching again. You can print with 0.2 nozzle in Bamboo Studio. It's just a different approach. So like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.